Hello, and welcome back to 2B2T. So, <clears throat> this is episode 7, and we're heading back towards spawn. So, I did debate about whether... <laughs> um, just to throw everything in the ender chest and take the shortcut back. And one moment, let's get to the boat. I forgot to do something. Every single time, there we go. There we go. Not so jumpy now. Yes. But there's no guarantee of where we would end up. So I think I'd rather go via the overworld. Um, so we're not going to be in the nether and we're not taking the shortcut because we could come in anywhere and spawn. And it's not always that easy to get out. Yes, we walked out last time without any issue. But getting to an end portal making your way to it I think it would be easier and quicker to actually just go from where we are so we are I need to clear those right so we're 17k out so let's head back towards Paul so first of all <clears throat> it's the same day as I recorded the two videos I um, decided to try and at least get myself to the end portal if possible today so then next episode we can head into the end and hopefully it'll be that'll either be the last one or the last of two so we, we're getting there we're getting close I had hoped to be able to get a few extra bits <laughs> right well first of all I'd like to apologize for the noise you can hear in the background um, <laughs> It's a Saturday. Ooh. It's a Saturday. Sorry, my apologies. I'm slightly distracted. Um, it's a really nice day. It's a nice May day. Um, it's warm out. So my neighbour. So I've got two neighbours. Um, on one side has two little girls. No, sorry, three little girls. Two little girls and a baby. Sorry, yes. Okay, why did none of that drop? Where did those melons go? They... Am I going insane? I broke both those melons and I have not increased my... Okay. That explains a lot. <clears throat> I do apologise. Okay, so we seem to be having a little bit of connection issues. Oh, joy. I never forgot to check the time. So yes, um, next door. It's a lovely day. Got three little ones. Um, so they're outside playing. I'm quite right too. So they have a trampoline, which they absolutely love. Especially the slightly older two. So the youngest is only about one years old. Um, middle one, I think is about four years old now. Three or four. And then the older one, she's about five, six. So they're quite young. Um, got family over, probably filling up the paddling pool as well. So expect a certain amount of noise coming from children playing, which is, <laughs> I have to admit, really lovely to hear. I'd much rather listen to them playing than the other side of me and the dogs barking. So we definitely want to be heading west. And to north too, to be honest. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so we're <clears throat> hoping to get back to at least close to an end portal by the end of this episode. I don't want it to drag out too long. Like I say I've got other things I need my accounts to do. I also am doing stuff on other servers. So, <laughs> as I previously mentioned, I do play a lot on Constantium. And this is one of the times when 2B2T gets the point to laugh at Constantium because we've had a few issues. <laughs> and because it's been found now, if 2B ever gets date, everybody's going to be aware of it, so no one's going to fall for it. So, Constantium's on 1.19. So, we have bees, beehives. You know, we're able to get honey and everything. And a few players over the last couple of months 
had been coming out and saying, has anybody got any beehives they can have with bees in because you want to get a farm? Then it could be a pain getting started. So a lot of players have just not thought anything of it and yeah, here you go, have a couple. Yeah, this one's got two in, this one's got one in. But... <laughs> ah, turns out there's a base hunting exploit to do with bees. So <laughs> I didn't know this until this came out about a week or two ago. Now, I apologise if I get this wrong, but there's something called I think an MBA, which is basically the information about an item. Um, you know, like if I was do like on a, an enchanted piece of armour, it would give you what enchantments are, what levels, what durability, um, if it's named or anything. But you can also find the MBA on Beehives. So you need a client. To do this, we're able to do it on Meteor, and I have tried it on another server um, with some beehives I've done. It gives you all sorts of information about what bees are in there, um, what honey level it's at, and <laughs> at the bottom there are some lines of numbers, and they're quite long, and unless you look at them properly, you'd miss it. But the first part of each of these lines of numbers is the coordinates where the bees were placed in that hive. Basically these beehives have got the coordinates of the bases imprinted in them and some smart Alex had figured this out and so it was a case of hey guys you don't suppose you can give me some bees some hives with some bees in could you for me set them a base I'll give you I don't know a couple of shortcuts of totems because at this point they're so easy to get in exchange and then all of a sudden loads of bases are getting hit and grieved Oh dear me. Ah oh, yeah. Uh, so I've looked at been looking at the MBA on a few other items and that to see if anything else has anything on them. Ooh, somebody's obviously been in there. Um that would allow you to track back to a base. But so far it just seems to be the beehives. So yes. So <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, a bit of an exploit which then had a slight knock-on effect. So Constantium, certain players are still not massively active but do occasionally log on there and one of them being Allmonger. So all of a sudden he's a little bit more active than usual and we know who he's friends with or at least was friends with. You know and after this came to light he, he seemed to be on a bit more. You know I'd seen him on before so didn't think anything of it until two nights ago. Now I wasn't on, one of my group mates was on and another name pops up um, in the list of, in the, the tab list. I Tristan. Now I went through the name of the fine tooth comb because we're all aware that people will use names such as that and there'll be a slight variation. Maybe a, a one instead used instead of an I or an L or a five instead of an S we're all familiar with it, you know, or two letters back to front. So I went through the name with a fine to go checked against the records that we have on how the name is spelt. And it was spot on. Absolutely spot on. There was no difference whatsoever. I was like, great. There goes the f sorry, nearly swore. There goes the name of it. <laughs> now I don't know if this was, I, I don't I suppose he was actually logged on himself, he probably set it up as a bot and best, based on what we were seeing chat messages coming up definitely looked more like um, a bot okay oh Rick, let's turn around let's get out of here fast 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 nope oh god <laughs> sorry guys that was funny but Normally when there's not a big deal for me, I just normally fly past them. But uh, I don't think I'm equipped to deal with a with a Oh, we have to have a look. Okay, if there's an energy chest, I might throw some of my diamond gear into it, so. So yes, so potentially, whether it is actually him or not, Tristan was on. <sighs> Are we still okay. Why is the game being so? 
I do apologise, I do seem to be having a few connection issues right now. But we've got to have a look. Even if it means us not surviving much longer. Right, I'm gonna make an executive decision right now. We're gonna lose some of the diamond armour. We'll keep the... No, because we've got enough. Right, let's swap out the diamond sword for an iron sword and the diamond pick for an iron pick. Actually, based on that, we should have enough diamond to make another set. Alright. And maybe give ourselves... Okay, we are definitely having technical issues right now. <sighs> right, I'm going to have to pause recording for a sec. I think I know what the issue is. I've got to go and give my modem a good kick in. So, back in a moment. Okay, <laughs> sorry. I accidentally pressed stop instead of unpause. Right, let's try this again. Hopefully, that should be working. So... I think we've been going for about 10 minutes. Alright. Check this. Right, um, is there a crafting table nearby? No, let's make one quickly. So I'm gonna make myself some iron boots and iron helmets. Now, I apologise if you're hearing any crackling, I'm just gonna turn that down. Oh, actually, yeah, that's actually quite loud. Let's get rid of that a lot. Yeah, the speakers on my computer aren't working very good. So I think I'm going to need to get myself some separate speakers. Because I'm getting a lot of crackling on that these days. It's a laptop. It was bought secondhand. But it's not a bad one. I, it's really good. But I am starting to have a few issues. Laptops don't last long anyway. Right, I think we've probably got enough food with the melons. Let's throw the bread in there too. Um, yeah, we're good. Alright, let's go and have a lozy around. Now, I could use free cam to have a. <laughs> Jeez. I'm going to to bedrock. There's water down there. <clears throat> you apologise, mumbling then. That's the sort of um, what I meant on the previous video where I said about me mumbling, where I'm sort of thinking out loud and I'm not speaking very loudly. And also, I am all over the place with my controls. So whatever was here obviously has been griefed, which isn't really a big surprise. I might later on log on with my main account and head to that site where I saw Cody Smiles um, last week just to see if the place is still intact because I recorded when I was there I would like to record Bonds is being griefed that sounds awful we know it's going to get griefed That's it's not a case of if, it's a case of when and since I've got footage of it as it was under when it was under construction, it'd be kind of good to do a before and after. But I don't want to do anything oh, my CD. Um do anything until after it's been griefed because I don't wanna literally give the coordinates away. Got to remember when you got die iron and then just iron on. See, you just don't know what you're going to find when you're wandering around 2B. So yeah, okay, love a gust. Now we do have tools, so if the worst came to the worst, we could mine through it, but I think it'd be better. Let's see. Um, let's just go around. And it looks more like this. More. I do apologize for that. A little bit of lag then. There's more destruction that side, so I think we're better off going this way. I wonder if this is the lava cast we big lava cast we came through on the way here. Hmm, could be. 
At some point, I'm gonna, I do want to have a go at building a lava cast. I know it's just a bucket of lava and a bucket of water. But have a go at doing something, you know, rather than just the usual little squat pyramid that people make when they first have a go. Have a go at doing something a little bit more intricate. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> oh dear. But be interesting to have a go. So yeah, so mentioned I'm on Constantium and I'm a part of a group there, there's five of us. And we sort of more of a public works group. Okay, we don't know where he is, so there's no point worrying about him. If he's in our path then well, it is what it is. And we're back at spawn very quickly. But at least we've got plenty of stuff in the end of chest, so it's not too bad for us. Yes. So yes, yeah, so we do you know we're sort of a public work group, we're only five of us and we're all older. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, st I still refuse to accept I'm a boomer. Yeah, I'm Gen X, I'm proud of it. I'm not a boomer. I'm not that old. Uh, yeah, so we've taken on some public works. So we've been doing a few sort of milestones and waypoints. <laughs> and I wanted to build a lava cast. <laughs> but I got vetoed on it. It was like... Mm. So one of our members, he really dislikes it. And I, I can understand why. You know, they're not everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> yes, but I'm talking about you right now. Um, but, you know, he's been quite busy with his private life outside of Minecraft. So he needed to take a break and I'm from playing. So I teased him and said, if he logs on within a week, he has to build me a lava cast. <laughs> two days, he lasted two days. <laughs> oh, so yet to see whether he, he builds me the lava cast or not. I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to hold you to it. See now, the temptation is to, to steal some um, beacons because you can break them without actually having a pick. But I'm going to be honest, my male cat's got tons of them. Hmm. Just, yeah. And we came pretty much this way. It's just to show how much you miss when you go, you know, you pass stuff without apps being aware of it. And you can only be maybe 20 blocks away from it. So let's see. Uh, I've forgotten the time again. Honestly. I don't know, so what, about 20 minutes, shall we say? We'll say 20 minutes. Because I'm going to have to put this together as... In, fasten it together now, because I've accidentally made it into two videos. Oh dear. It's a completely different view, travelling on the ground, to what you see in the air. It really is. And not having Fulbright on really changes the sort of feel, the atmosphere to the landscape. Okay, it's a banner. Let's go and have a look and see whose it is. Do I recognize it? No, so it kind of. So it could be a T, or it could be a shirt with a lacy collar. So, hmm, let's see whose it is. Don't worry, I, I will put it back. I always put them back. Uh, it's a Discord. No idea. Just advertising their Discord. Okay, so it could be a Discord shop. There, Discord shops. Wouldn't trust a Discord shop at all. You know, if you want to go. And give you money to one of the shops to get some gear, fine. But I, I wouldn't go to one of the Discord ones. I just. It's just so dodgy. You know, I know I've admitted to buying stuff from one of the shops before now. At, but I went for one with an actual website where some effort had been put into it. You know, I knew I was still taking the risk, but. You know, I wouldn't use. On the Discord ones. But you got to do you. Ooh, let's grab a bit of food. Nice. How far have we come? 
Probably not very far. Uh, so we were at 17, we're at 13. Right, I have a funny feeling we're not going to make it to the and then portal this episode. So I, it, for some reason, I'm thinking, why, why the squid? Squid shouldn't be in this version, but yeah, they are. Hmm, what version were squids introduced? Hmm. So this happens occasionally. I'll come across something. I'll be like, "Oh, when was I introduced to the game? When was I introduced to the game?" <clears throat> ah, it's all pretty stars. Hopefully, at some point when the house is further along and I actually have room to set one up, I'm gonna get myself a good gaming PC. And rather than on the laptop, the laptop's done well. But I would love to be able to run shaders. You know, in a situation like this. To actually have shaders going instead of um, just the basic Minecraft. Um... Wait. Just give me my boat. Honestly. <laughs> this game at times. Yeah, it'd be cool to see some of the <coughs> some of the places through shaders rather than just the the generic um, graphics and texture pack that you get. Now, here's a question for you guys: Netherrack. So you, we're all familiar with one point twelve Netherrack. And I'm sure we're all familiar with the more modern look to the Netherrack ones. They did um, the texture update. Which do you prefer? Now, I wouldn't say I prefer one over the other. But the more modern version of the Netherrack to me. How to put this? I feel it looks cartoony, if that makes any sense. It's like the graphics you get with Bedrock versus Java. It you know these this is a little bit more rougher, less polished, and therefore for me a little bit more realistic. While Bedrock um, textures and video looks more bright, more shiny not explaining this very well but it looks looks fake compared to the more muted tones you get on Java and that's kind of in the way how I feel about the Netherrack as well strange thing to be have the conversation about the more modern version of the texture I don't wouldn't say it, I don't like it, and I wouldn't say I prefer the other one over it. Ah, I do remember being here, but it it seems so almost fake to me versus the slightly rougher, grainier version you get. Right, I think we have been going for about half an hour, give or take five minutes or so. So sorry for the wittering. We're going to end it here. Um, not going to make it to the end portal today. I probably won't do any more videos today because I do have a few other things I want to do. So I managed to get three recorded anyway. And we're heading back to spawn and ready to go into the end. So fingers crossed in another couple of episodes we'll be out in the end. Anyway, this is me signing off. Wishing you a good rest of your day. Bye.